Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video in the Java Servlets and JSP series. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to use JSP expressions. So we just finished our first project. We know a lot about servlets now, how to use servlets, how to process servlet requests, HTTP requests and all that. And so now I'm going to show you a little bit more on uh, what JSP is and how JSP works and the different things you can do with, within JSP pages. And the first thing I want to show you is something called a JSP expression. And a JSP expression is a type of tag that you can use among other tags um, that I'm going to teach you about. And it's a very basic tag that allows you to uh, basically uh, put a Java expression directly into a HTML file or a JSP file, okay? So let me give you an example here. So I just wrote it out here. So it says JSP expression tags allow you to directly put Java expressions into an HTML file. This includes math expressions, Boolean expressions, and calling methods that return values to be displayed on the page. Like arith arithmetic, and uh, that's being displayed on the page. And then the last one here, I'm printing an object, and uh, all you gotta do is put the object, and then the toString method is called automatically. So I'm gonna show you how to do these, of course, but these are just some examples. So before that, though, let me give you a quick explanation or recap of what JSP is. I think I may have explained this already, but JSP stands for Java Server Pages, and uh, it's actually built upon the technology behind servlets. So it's technically a JSP page is a servlet when it's like uh, built. Whenever you start running the uh, the code and you compile it and all that, it's actually turned into a servlet behind the scenes and processed as a servlet. But in essence, the JSP is really just an HTML file with uh, Java. Uh, sprinkled in so you can have Java code within the JSP using JSP tags and some other cool stuff built into the JSP uh, technology and uh, Basically uh, the cool thing about it though is that even though we're using Java inside of the JSP file If we actually look at the page source here, it's still HTML at the end of the day So what happens is you make a HTTP request to um, pro to ask for this page here test.jsp and what that will do is go to, uh, it'll send a request to that. And of course, behind the scenes, it's pretty much a servlet. So the servlet is basically going to process whatever Java code is within that JSP file. And that's going to be rendered as HTML. So behind the scenes, inside the servlet, inside the JSP, it's all being converted into HTML. And then the HTML is going to be sent back in the, in the request response or the HTTP response. Because at the end of the day, the browser really only understands HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It doesn't understand Java. So it needs to be sent back as Java for it to be, I mean, as HTML for it to be valid, obviously. So yeah, so hopefully that makes sense. Again, you're just really sending a request here uh, and then behind the scenes, it's uh, using Java to render some uh, HTML dynamically. And then that's being sent back to the browser and displayed to the page. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like. So here is an example here, but let me get rid of all this. I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. So there's five types of basic JSP tags that come with JSP. And uh, so the first one is going to be the JSP expression tag. So this allows you to have a single line of a Java expression. So let's say that we want to print out um, a method, the result of a method. So we can do that by doing an opening expression tag. So that's a angle bracket percent sign equal sign. And it automatically puts the closing uh, thingy there. And in between that, you just put the Java expression that you want to evaluate, okay? So you can put anything here as long as it returns a value or something like that so that it can be changed to a string and displayed on the page as HTML. So for example, let's say that we have a method, uh, what's a method we can call that returns a value? So we can do math dot uh, add exact and we can add two numbers. Let me zoom in for you. So add two numbers. And let's say that we wanna add um, two and three. So two and three. So what this will do behind the, and you don't need to put a semicolon. It doesn't actually want you to put a semicolon. So uh, what this will do behind the scenes is evaluate this uh, method here and then take the result and then convert it to a string and then put it on the HTML page and then send that HTML back to the uh, browser, okay? So that's just one example here. And uh, let's say that we wanna wrap this within a P tag, we can do that. So put that inside of a P tag and then before that we can say calling a method and then it'll evaluate that and then put that on the screen. So let's try that out. Let me restart the server here and let's see what the result is. And by the way, don't get this confused with the JSP expression language that I told you about before, where, uh, let me show you. So this is expression language. You might be familiar with this from my previous episodes. So you do dollar sign and then inside the curly brackets, you can put an argument that you passed in within the uh, 
the request. So we could do something like, which is whatever the argument call is called, right? So what this will do is automatically evaluate the argument and then put it within the p tag if it's uh, present, right? Um, so these are not the same thing. This is called expression language, which we'll be learning more about later. And this is called a JSP expression tag, okay? So they're completely different. And actually the expression language is newer. It came with JSP 2.0. And they both have different purposes, but um, we usually favor the newer stuff over the older stuff. And we'll learn that in the future, but it's good to understand the fundamentals, which are these basic tags here, okay? Anyway, now that you know that, let's go back to our thing here and reload. Oh yeah, here reload and now it says calling a method five. So again, it was able to evaluate this uh, math.add exact, return the value of five and then display it inside of the p tag, which is pretty cool, right? So that's just a basic example of uh, a JSP expression tag. So let me do some more here. So let's do, um, let's say, uh, let's do a Boolean. So evaluating, evaluating a Boolean and inside of here, so uh, angle bracket percent sign equals. And then inside of that, we will do, um, let's say bob.length is less than three. So is bob.length less than three? No, it's actually false because it's actually equal to three. So this will evaluate the Boolean here and then display the results inside of the p tag, the p tag, okay? So let's do another one. So this one will do a math expression. So math expression, opening tag, and then the closing tag is automatically there. And then, so a math expression, let's do like something like 500.6 times seven uh, minus 50. And it'll evaluate that obviously, and then put the result. So very, very similar. And let's have one more. So we'll do so we got a method, a Boolean, a math expression, and let's also do an object. So let's say that we put an object with inside of here. So we'll say uh, Java object. So this is actually a very popular example. So let's say that we do new date. So that'll create a new date object. And then if it's just that, what it will do is um, call the two string method upon this object here, which will obviously get the string version of that object and then display it inside of the p tags here, okay? So that's what that will do. So yeah, this is very, very simple. It's, um, it's just an expression tag because it's just a simple uh, Java expression that is being evaluated and displayed on the page, right? So let's try uh, restarting the server and see what we get. All right, there we go. And now it says calling a method, five, evaluating a Boolean, false, math expression, uh, 3,454.2, uh, Java object, Thursday, December 17th, uh, 3856 CST 2020. So that's my exact date at this current moment when I made the uh, request. So if I reload, it's actually different. So every time we reload, the JSP is being processed behind the scenes on the server here, and that's gonna create a new data object, which is gonna be the current time. So it's gonna be a new time every time we reload, which is pretty cool. So it's actively uh, rerunning the code and reevaluating it within the JSP expression tag each time we reload here as the request is remade. So pretty cool. So yeah, that's the first tag I'm gonna teach you about. So there's five JSP tags, like I said before. And so the first one is a JSP, JSP expression tag. And the next one I'm gonna teach you about are JSP scriptlets, which are gonna allow us to do other Java uh, codes inside of our JSP files, okay? So yep, stay tuned for that. And hopefully you like this video. I'll leave a link in the description for this video so you can check out the code for this and uh, you can try it out for yourself and bookmark it for future use and also like i always will do i'll leave a description a link in the description below for my discord server so you can join our server and uh, get involved in our programming community so, so you can get some friends and uh stuff like that get some help on your projects if you need help and uh all that fun stuff and then finally if you want to support this channel you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month five dollars or ten dollars so uh, yeah, feel free to join that if you want to. You can join as a member and you get some cool perks like early access to all of my new videos, just like this one here. Um, a cool rank on my Discord server. And also you could just see your name on the screen like you see right now. So thank you to all of my members and I appreciate it. And yeah, so if you like this video, leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe and peace. Mm -hmm.